Hey, what's up everyone? This is Dom from Dom Designs. Today, we are going to learn how to draw Oddish from Pokemon in Adobe Illustrator. As you can see on the right, I have already created an illustration of Oddish, so we can use it as a reference. You can also see that I have already put together a color palette. The hex codes will be in the description below. For this illustration, you can create a new document at 1920 by 1080 pixel resolution. This is what I'll be using. As you can see, I have already imported my rough draft of my illustration and set as a template to a 50% opacity. Going to our layers panel, we will create a new layer and name it Outline. All of our line work will be done on this layer. You will see why later on in this video. Using our dark colored purple, we will set a stroke size to 8 points. Round off the corners and cap in our stroke options. We will first start by creating Oddish's head with an oval. Next, we will draw his big feet. I'll align the bottom of the foot with the head, as to try and keep this drawing as flat as possible. Once we are done with that, we add his legs. This is where it might get tricky. We will create a simple curved line and make sure the two points are touching the foot and the body. By selecting all, we will use our shape builder tool. Shift plus M on your keyboard and just click on the leg. This will create a new shape just for the leg part. We then copy over the left part to the right side and align it. Next, we select all and go back to our shape builder tool and merge the overlapping feet and body like so. As you can see, I have five separate shapes. This will make our lives much easier when coloring. Let's move on to his leaves. We will create a straight stroke going from the base of the head directly to the tip. Using our curvature tool on our panel, we create a point and drag it to create a perfect curve. Now using our shape builder tool once more, shift plus M on your keyboard, we will select the artwork and click on the leaf. This will separate the leaf shape from the head, and as you can see, the overlapping shape is separated, so we can go ahead and delete this. Now let's continue this process for the remaining leaves. Now that we have that done, we will create the line in the middle of his leaves. I like to make this line go from thick to thin. Using the width tool, shift plus W on your keyboard, you can see how we can adjust the size of the stroke. We will thin this out a little. We will continue this throughout.
Now that we have that done, we will draw its cute eyes and mouth. And just like that, we have completed the outline of our drawing. If you enjoy these videos, please leave a like and subscribe. You have no idea how much this helps out the channel. This will also help me create and produce better content as well. Now let's move on. Let's create a new layer and name it Color. Let's select the body and leaves and do a copy and paste to front. We start by doing Command C. We then lock our outline layer, making sure our color layer is below the outline layer. We do Command F on our keyboard to paste. Our duplicated shape is below the outline layers. Now we can select them and fill the colors according to our need. Make sure to remove its stroke. Let's repeat this process for the eyes and the mouth. For the tongue, we will remove its stroke and keep it pink, and then send it below the stroke of the mouth like so. Now let's create a new layer and name it Shadows and Highlights. This is an extra layer I like to use, but it's not necessary. You will see me use it sporadically. Let's start by adding highlights to the eyes. Let's add two white circles for the eyes. This will be our highlight. We will now select the pink eyes. Let's do a copy and paste to front which will duplicate our shape directly on top of the original one. Then, select and drag a third copy of the circle below while holding down Option on your keyboard. Using the Shape Builder tool, we will select the top two layers of the circle and delete the unnecessary shapes holding down Option while using the Shape Builder. Let's drop the opacity like so to be more subtle. Now let's repeat these steps for the remaining of the drawing. So what I like to do is drop the opacity of the color and draw our shadow. For the leaves, I have already created guidelines for where our shadows will be placed. So let's start creating our shadow shapes.
I'll keep this last one in real time so you can see closely how I do it. Once we have our shape completed, we will bring the opacity of our base layer back up. Let's finish off this illustration by adding a few highlights. Let's use a white circle and use the curvature tool to morph our circle into a highlight following the same direction as the leaf. Once we are done, let's drop the opacity so it's less prominent. To end things off, let's add a background and a small shadow underneath Oddish to finish our illustration. And there you have it. This is how I draw a Pokemon in Illustrator using my simple techniques. Follow me on Instagram at Dom Designs and send me your version of a Pokemon using the steps shown below. Hope you enjoyed and please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Cheers everyone!